Warning, this video is probably gonna be longer than you or I both want. Okay, so, but this is, this is the deal. Let me go give you a short introduction to the book cipher so we understand what's going on. So here's an example. Suppose I have the message cat, which is pretty dumb, but whatever. Okay, because it's a simple message. And I want to send that as a code, so I'm gonna convert this to a code and then send the code and then, then decode it. So the way we do that is with a book cipher is to first do the following. I take cat, C-A-T, and I need to convert each letter into a hexadecimal. This is as, uh, actually uh, ASCII UTF-8 code. Um, you know, if you use later codes, you could even encode emoji because those are in the in the um, UTF. I don't know which one it is, but they actually have numbers for they all convert to numbers. So you could send an emoji. Why am I talking? Okay, no one cares. Okay, so. If I take the letter C and where's my ASCII code? Oh, I have it. I have a table of ASCII codes. And so the letter C is 43, the letter A is 41, and the letter T is 54. These are in hex though. Okay, so just that's a di that's not decimal. That's hex decimal. Uh, so next, that's my text. It's not encoded. It's just which well, is ASCII. It's plain text. Okay. Now I'm going to take my I'm going to take the first word here, egg. Well, actually, I use spring for spring roll. Okay, so I had, let's say I have spring roll. So I have SPR for spring roll. And I'm going to convert that to hex too. So S is 43, P is 50, and R is 52. So now I have my text and my code. And this is my key. Okay, what I'm going to do is add these, and then I can get my encoded message. So just a quick side note. So hexadecimal, decimal goes from 0 to 9. Hexadecimal goes from 0 to F. So we have 16 characters, 16 numbers in hexadecimal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then A, B, C, D, E, F. So if you just had D, that'd be, that would be a 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. If I had 1D, that means one set of 16, plus 13. So in decimal, that'd be, uh, what did I say, 16 plus 13 is 29. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's good for lots of things, though. Okay, so now I'm going to take uh, the code plus the key, add them together. So I get 43 plus 53, right down here. So that's 96. That's easy. 41 plus 50, 91. Okay, here's here's where you can see that it's in hex. So four plus two is six, but five plus five is 10. And so I don't write 10, I write A. So it's A6. So that's my code, okay? Now to decode it, I just do the opposite. So that would be the code I would send. And the other person would know the book cipher, they would know those, those letters. So now I just do the opposite to solve the message. So I take my code and then I look up the same key and I subtract it. This is what MacGyver Sr. is going to be doing. Uh, so he's going to take the code, subtract uh, the cipher for S for spring roll, 53 minus 50 minus 52, and you get back to these ASCII character numbers, which are those things at the end. Okay, um, here's, a, here's an example of adding another one. So here's 51 plus 6A. So 1 plus A is, if, I, if I'm here at A, I go here to B, so I'm at B. So 1 plus A is B. 5 plus 6 is 11. So 10, 11, so it's B. So it's BB. And that is a number. There you go. Okay, I didn't do anything yet. Now we are ready. You can skip all that part. And that's just if you want to know what's going on. So now I'm going to actually do it. I have the code. I will send you a picture of this code. I've already converted the address using the book cipher to this code. This is the code that they would have to decode. And then this is my book cipher. Okay, so the step one is to take the cipher and I'm using the first words of each line, uh, including the space, because that is there is a code for a space. And I'm converting that to uh, hex ASCII codes. So E would be 45, G would be 67, G would be 67, space is 20, 
and so forth. So this is the this is the uh, the key converted into hex. And I've only done down to chicken dumplings. Um, actually, I didn't even do all that because I only need enough keys for my code. Okay, so that's what I'm doing right there. So there's my code and there's my key. Okay, now we have to do the math. So now I'm going to take the code minus the key and convert that to ASCII. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so, so I'm going to say 96, that's a 6, sorry, writing sideways, minus 45. Okay, 6 minus 5 is 1, 9 minus 4 is 5. It's early in the morning. Okay, so I'm going to cross these off. So I know I already did that one. I already did that one. Okay. Now I'm going to get B, D minus 67. And I'm going to, this is a pain in the butt. Or you could say pain in the ass. But I'm going to keep doing it so that you can have as much material as you want. Uh, so D is D minus 7. Let's see, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that would be 6. B minus 6 is going to be 6. Cross that off. AC minus 67. I'm writing sideways because I am sideways. Okay, so this is going to be uh, 13, 6 again. Wait, that was 6. D, this should be 7. See, D, it was D minus 7, and that's 10, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12. That's 12. Okay, so it's 12. 12 that's 5. And then that's 4. Okay. This is why they invented computers, because computers can do this. Okay, this is the easy one. 40 minus 20, 20. Boom, I did that one. Didn't even have to work about it. Okay. A5 minus 52. I can do this one. That's 3, 5. What's my time here? Seven minutes. Yes. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Um, B0. Minus 6F. That one's fun. Okay, so here I'm going to have to <laughs> borrow. So I'm going to write this as C, and I'm going to write that. If I borrow 116, then this is going to be, this is like 16. So 16 minus F is 1. I know. I know. And then I have 12 minus 6 is 61. Okay, so there's my first letters. Uh, let's see. Cross that one off. Cross that one off. Let's do one more. 6C minus B A. So C minus B A is going to be 2. And then 6, wait, I can't do. Oh, I did this backwards. It's B A minus 6 C. Okay, so again I'm going to have to borrow. So I'm going to get, this is going to be C, and then I'm going to get, uh, this is like an extra 16, I'm short 2, so it's going to be 14, which is E. And then C minus C is 12, so 6. Whew! Okay. Now let's convert these. Uh, we don't have, we're going to keep going. But I'm going to convert these to ASCII. I mean, actually to letters. And then where's my ASCII code? I mean, I would assume that MacGyver Jr. or Sr. would memorize the ASCII code because that's kind of super geek they are. I'm only kind of like a half geek. I don't memorize stuff because that's why I went into physics. So I don't have to memorize things. Um, so 51. Actually, I got this right here. Actually, this should be 41. 96. I made a mistake somewhere. 
Okay, this is 41. So let's say this is A6, 41. Uh, so this is A, V, I'm sorry, A, V, E, S, A, N, D, and then you just keep going like that. Um, that should be this 10 minutes. So I've, I've encoded the first part of, I've decoded the first part, and I'll send you pictures of all the stuff. Whew.